Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I created a sticky label with an index scroll bar. You can see on the right, when I drag the scroll bar, the index appears dynamically for each area. And on the left, you can see that the label sticks in each section. Let's get started. I've already imported the design from Figma and I will use these items for the interaction. Within the scroll bar, there is a list of index grouped as a bubble and scroller. This is a scroll bar area for scrolling. And this is a background and this is a sticky label. And lastly, this list container has the list for the scrolling. And this list includes the label mark to help to know the scroll position of the label. To move the scroll bar, I will first add a 20 pixel touch area to the scroll bar layer to make it easy to press. Then I will add a drag trigger to the scroll bar and add move response for the scroll bar in a vertical direction. I can drag the scroll bar, but it's going out of the scroll area. So I will set the custom limit from 234 to 700. This is the Y position where the scroll bar starts and ends. Now the scroll bar moves only between this area. To sync the scroll bar with the list scrolling, I will add the chain trigger for the scroll bar Y and add the score response for list container. I will set the range of the Y of scroll bar as same as the custom limit range from 234 to 700, since it's where the scroll bar starts and ends. Then I will set the scroll of list container from 0 to 582 pixel. The list scroll starts at 0 and ends by 582 pixel, which is a scroll offset. Now the scroll bar is chained with list scrolling. This means whenever the scroll bar moves, the list will scroll synchronously for each range. We will move labels later. We can check the scroll offset by using variables. I will add the new variable naming as scroll offset and add a detect trigger for the lift container scroll. Then I will add a sign response for the scroll offset and set the formula by hitting the plus button for list container with scroll offset. I will also add a function round to round the number. You can check more on the Protopy website. By turning the bug mark on, I can check the scroll offset of the list container. You can see the end of the scroll. The value is 582. To make the scroll bar synced from the list scrolling, I will add the trigger for the list container scroll and add the move response for the scroll bar and set the range reverse from what I just added. It's simply flipping the order 0 to 582 and 234 to 700. You can see now that the scroll bar is synced with the list container in both ways. Now to make the label sticky, I will add a move response for an A label under this chain trigger. First, I will set the scroll from 0 to 263 and set both Y positions to 234, which is an A label's original position. This is a range where A label stays in the same position. Next, to push the A label when B label arrives, I will add the second range from 263 to 298. 
adding 35 pixel, which is the height of the label. Then chain the Y from the 234 to 199, which is a subtraction of this 35 pixel label height. This means when the scroll arrives at 298, the A label will move minus 35 pixel to go out from the street scene. You can check the A label is changing its position within this scroll offset. While the A label is in the same position until 0 to 263, I will make the B label to scroll right below the A label. I will add move response for B label and set the scroll range from 0 to 263 and set Y from 532, which is B's current position to 269, which is the 35 addition by A label's position. This 35 is again the height of the label. We can see that B label is now moving until below A. To make the B label to overtake the A label, I will add the second range 263 to 298 which is again the addition by 35 pixel height. Then set Y from 269 to 234, which is the position of the A label. Great. You can see that now B label is taking over the A label. Again, to make the B label disappear when C label takes over, I will add the third range from 486 with 521, which is an addition by 35 pixel height. Then set the Y from 234 to 199 as same as before. This was the first A label position and then out of the scene. As I mentioned earlier, you can see this grayed out C label mark is helpful to check the scroll position. This can go on like this, but I will make it onto the C label. To move the C label with scrolling, I will add move trigger for C label and set the scroll from 0 to 486, where the B label stopped before moving out. Then I will set Y from 755 to 269, which is the C, lab C label position, to right below the B label position. Next, to overtake the B label, I will add the second range from 486 to 521, which is again the addition of 335 height. Then I will set the Y from 269 to 234 as same as earlier to push the B label position from the right below position. I will skip adding the third range that C label will be pushed out from them since the list is too short to scroll further down. So the sticker label is ready. Additionally, I will make the responsive scroll index and use this variable for rough measurement of the scroll offset. The index's opacity is zero, so I will make this opacity to 100% for each area. First, I will add the opacity response to A index and set the scroll range from zero to 150 with 100% 100 opacity. Then I will set the second range from 150 to 582, which is the end of the list scrolling, with zero opacity. Next, I will add the opacity response to B index and set the scroll range from 0 to 150 with zero opacity, so that B won't overlap with A. Then I will add the second range from 150 to 260 with both 100% opacity. Lastly, I will add 260 
to 582, which is again the end of the scroll. Next, I will add the opacity response to C index and set the roll, scroll range from 0 to 260 with 0 opacity and second range with 260 to 420 with 100 opacity. Then in the third range, I will add 420 to 582 with 0 opacity. Lastly, I will add the opacity response to D index and set the scroll range from 0 to 420 with 0 opacity, then 420 to 582 with 100%, again, which is the last part. I've set the range by checking the scroll set, and now you can see that the index is changing according to the area. Finally, to show the bubble only when I press, I will make the bubble layer opacity to zero and add touchdown trigger for scroll bar and add opacity response for bubble with 100% opacity. This means when I touch down the scroll bar, the bubble will appear. To make the bubble appear only when I press the scroll bar, I will add touch up trigger for scroll bar and add opacity response for bubble with 0% opacity. You can see now that it shows the indexing bubble of the area when only when I pressing the scroll bar. At last, the interaction is complete. When I scroll, the label on the left is sticking for each section. And when the next session arrives, it overtakes the previous sticky label. Also, on the right side of the custom store wall, the index is dynamically shown for each area when I drag the scroller. That's it for today. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and check the bell to get notification for upcoming videos. See you soon!